Hello there. Today we are learning about the concept of a sentinel value. We're also learning about the concepts of a running total, accumulator, and decumulator. So a sentinel value is a value that terminates a loop. So a sentinel value often works with a loop. The loop will continue to loop until the sentinel value causes the loop to terminate. Um, along with that, running total is just a, a total that uh, uh, adds on to itself uh, each with each iteration of the loop, and if it does that, then it's uh, an accumulator. If um, the uh, your running total uh, subtracts from itself each iteration of of a loop, it would be uh, known as a decumulator. So let's see how these concepts uh, you know are used in a program. Let's do our demo here. So this program uses an accumulator for adding the total, and this program also uses a sentinel value for terminating the loop. First thing I do right here is I import our scanner class so we can uh, grab information from the command prompt. The, uh, the class name here is uh, crow3 underscore 051 the sentinel, and right here I've got my main method header. So the first thing I do is I declare a couple of variables. I've got int number, and I've also got int total that I initialize to uh, zero. I create a scanner object called keyboard and then I tell the user I say hey enter a number and the program will add it to a running total and then enter negative one when finished Then I've got a space and then I <clears throat> tell the user again I say hey enter a number uh, or enter or a negative one to end and then I grab whatever they enter and I put it into int number so let's go ahead and let's create our loop so while int number does not equal negative one we're going to do the following statements so while int number is not equal to negative one so if int number is five the loop is going to loop is if uh, int number is six the loop is going to loop if int number is negative one then boom we exit out of the loop negative one is the sentinel value which uh, causes this loop to terminate. So let's go ahead and let's put some code in here. We're going to add int number um, to int total. So I'm going to say, uh, and let's keep in mind that int total is the accumulator. Int total is the, uh, it's the accumulator because uh, it's the variable, uh, otherwise known as the running total. All right, here we go. So int total equals int total equals int total plus int number. Another way to write that that's more efficient is the following. You just say plus equals int number. So this is the same way of writing int total equals int total plus int number. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the next number from the user. And I'm just going to copy and paste this text right here. All right, looking good. Finally, uh, we're going to exit out of the loop. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to display the accumulator and we're going to say the total of the numbers entered is int total so here's what's going to happen the user is going to enter a number it's going to go into int number. Let's say they enter in the number 5. So while int number does not equal to negative 1. Well, is 5, does 5 not equal negative 1? That's true, so we're going to do the stuff inside this loop. So right here we've got int total equals int number plus int total. So int total will become 5. And then we tell the user again, enter a number or negative 1 to end. So let's say the user enters 3 this time. So uh, 3 is going to go into int number. while 3 does not equal negative 1. So that is true when we go back in here and we add 3 to 5. So in total becomes 8. So then if we come to this statement right here, enter a number or negative 1 to end, if we type in negative 1, then int number will become negative 1. While int number 
which is negative 1 does not equal negative 1. Is that true? No, it's false because negative 1 <laughs> equals negative 1. So it's a kind of different way to think about stuff when you, you know, place it in the terms of a, of a negative statement. But negative 1 uh, does equal negative 1, so we're going to exit out of the loop. Negative 1 is the sentinel value. Notice that int total right here is our uh, running total because we keep on adding on to it each time. And in this case, it's a it's an accumula accumulator. If we were subtracting here, if we were subtracting from this, then int total would be a decumulator. And at the very end, we tell the user uh, the total number, uh, total of the numbers entered. So let's go ahead and let's run this. So I'm going to right click, say run. All right, enter a number of the program. We'll add it to a running total. Enter negative one when finished. So let's say I type in five. All right, let's say I type in three. Uh, so right now my running total should be eight. Let's say I type negative two. Now my running total should be six. Let's say I type negative one. The total of the numbers entered is six. So this was a demonstration uh, for how we used the concept of a sentinel value, running total, and an accumulator. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.